We invite you to join us as we celebrate the church launch of Miracle Healing Center in McKinney, Texas on Sunday, May 21st at 10 a.m. Featuring Pastor Sean and Amy Pender with special music by Alvin Slaughter. We welcome people of all ages and backgrounds to come and experience God's love and power, as well as join us as we fulfill the Great Commission, preaching the gospel to the lost and demonstrating God's power. Celebrate with us at the Cockrell Middle School in McKinney. See you there. Oh, Lord, my God. Come on, church. When I in awesome wonder consider all the worlds thy hands have made I see the stars and I hear the rolling thunder your power throughout the universe play. come on sing with me on this morning then sings my soul my Savior God to thee how great thou art, how great thou art. Then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art. And when I think, and when I think, that God, His Son, not sparing, sent Him to die. I scarce can take it in that on an old rugged cross, that on a cross, my burdens gladly bearing, He bled and died to take away my sins. Sing it with everything. Then sings my soul. My Savior God to be How great Thou art How great Thou art Then sings my soul My Savior God to be How great Thou art How great Thou art When Christ shall come When Christ shall come Thank you, Lord. With shout of acclamation, and take me home. What joy shall fill my heart. Then I shall bow. Then I shall bow. In humble adoration, and there proclaim, My God, how great thou art. Sing it to him. Then sings my soul. My Savior God to be How great Thou art How great Thou art Then sings my soul My Savior God to be How great Thou art How great Thou art Then sings Father God in the name of Jesus Christ on this morning, minister to your people under the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Me and Pastor Amy, we join our faith with every single person. You know exactly what they need. Somebody have a divine appointment with destiny on this morning. Speak to them. Minister to them in the areas of their deepest needs. Let the Word of God come alive to them. Let them see themselves in this passage of Scripture this morning. Bring them out by a mighty deliverance, God. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Somebody say, Amen. Oh, blessed be the name of Jesus. On this morning, we are talking about you have an appointment with destiny. Every single one of us in our lives and in our walk with God. There comes a time and a place where we have a divine appointment with destiny, where we have an encounter with God. And it literally changes our entire life. And this is what we're going to look at this morning. In the book of John chapter 4, beginning at verse 3, the Bible says, He left Judea and departed again into Galilee. 
I love the word of God. The Bible says, and he must needs go through Samaria. He had a, it was necessary for him to go through Samaria. I believe the Holy Spirit was driving him. He was being led by the Holy Ghost. Then cometh he to a city of Samaria, which is called Sychar, near to the parcel of ground that Jacob gave to his son Joseph. Now Jacob's well was there. Jesus, therefore, being wearied with his journey, sat thus on the well, and it was about the sixth hour. There cometh a woman of Samaria to draw water. Jesus said unto her, Give me to drink. Give me something to drink. For his disciples were gone away unto the city to buy meat. Sometimes God have to get some of the closest people around you from around you so his perfect will could be accomplished in your life. Had the disciples been here, they would have drove that woman away. They would have destroyed this entire conversation and visitation of God. But you see, when God is getting ready to bring you into the fulfillment of his destiny for your life, God have to sometimes move for a temporary time being in a temporary season. He got to move people from around you or closest to you. So the will of God can be accomplished. Thank God his disciples were gone away into the city to buy meat. And it gave Christ a perfect opportunity to minister to this woman. The Holy Ghost set this whole thing up. Then said the woman of Samaria unto him, How is it that you being a Jew ask drink of me, which I'm a woman of Samaria? For the Jews have no dealings with the Samaritans. You know, the Samaritans... They were half Jew and half Gentile. And so they were looked down on by the Jews as a result of that. And they didn't mix with each other. It's like how racism between black and white folks or black and Spanish or white and Spanish or, come on, you know what I'm talking about. Jesus answered and said unto her, if thou knowest the gift of God and who it is that said to thee, give me to drink, thou wouldest have asked of him, and he would have given thee living water. The woman said unto him, Sir, thou hast nothing to draw with, and the well is deep. From whence then hast thou that living water? When, how is it possible that you have living water? Art thou greater than our father Jacob, which gave us the well and drank thereof himself and his children and his cattle? Jesus answered and said unto who, whosoever drinketh of this water shall thirst again. But whosoever drinketh of the water that I shall give him shall never thirst. But the water that I shall give him shall be in him a well of water springing up into everlasting life. The woman said unto him, sir, he, Jesus was waiting on this invitation. The woman said unto him, sir, give me this water that I thirst not, neither come hither to draw. This woman had a need in her life. She had a thirst in her life. We're about to see what that is here in a minute. So Jesus said unto her, the, the prophetic is kicking in. The gifts of the spirit begin to manifest. Jesus said unto her, go call thy husband and come here. Call your husband and come back. The woman answered and said, I have no husband. Jesus said unto her, Thou hast well said, I have no husband. Watch the Holy Spirit. The gift's about to manifest and blow her away. For thou, you have had five husbands, and he whom thou has is not, he whom thou now has is not thy husband, and that saidest thou truly. The Holy Ghost now is reading this woman's mail. The Holy Ghost is giving Jesus insight through the word of knowledge into the facts of this woman's life and she knew that nobody knew her dark secrets the skeleton that was in her closet and this began to shake her up she realized she's in the presence of a great man of god of a prophet watch this but jesus is about to show you in the presence of more than a prophet the woman said unto him sir i perceive that thou art a prophet, our fathers worship in this mountain. And you say that in Jerusalem is the place 
where men ought to worship. Jesus said unto a woman, Believe me, the hour cometh when you shall neither in this mountain nor at Jerusalem worship the Father. You worship and you know not what. We know what we worship for salvation of the, is of the Jews. He was 100% right. But the hour cometh and now is when the true worshipers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth for the Father seek it such to worship him. It's not going to be about a building or a specific place. Jesus wanted her to know it's not going to be the mountain, but that there's coming a time the Holy Spirit will live in you. You'll be able to have 24-7 access to the presence of the living God. You'll be able to worship him wherever you are, as long as you are saved and the Spirit of God is in you. Lord, have mercy. The woman said unto him, I know that the Messiah cometh which is called Christ, when he is come, he will tell us all things. Jesus said unto her, I that speak unto thee am he. But watch this now. You got to understand, this woman, the thirst that was in this woman, she was trying to quench this thirst. We're jumping from man to man from marriage to marriage there was a thirst there was a hunger in this woman that only the living God could satisfy there are many of you this morning under the sound of my voice men and women sex is not going to satisfy that need there is a need in every human being for the true and living God only God Jesus can quench that thirst in your heart. This woman had, a, had already went through five husbands. And she was now living with a man. She was shocking with a man who was not a husband. But Jesus looked past all her weakness. He realized he was on an assignment from God. This was a divine appointment. This was the day this woman's life was about to take a turn for the better. This was the day when this woman was about to be delivered from her sin and from the work of the flesh and from the grip of Satan. And the Holy Spirit gave him a word that broke her in half, that broke her spirit open. Jesus said, you have had five husbands and the one you're living with now is not your husband. This shook her up. Jesus said, I'm the Messiah. And upon this came his disciples and marveled that he talked with the woman. Yet no man said, what seekest thou? Or why talkest thou with her? Judgmental disciples. So I got her to get them out of the way. The woman then left her water pot and went her way into the city and said to the men, she knew where the men hung out. It's amazing how God can break right into the devil's plans. Come see a man which told me all things that I ever did. Is not this the Christ? Now, if you look at this story, all Jesus told this woman was you've had five husbands and the one you're living with now is not your husband. You're shocking. She ran into the city and said, come see a man. Who he, he didn't tell her everything she ever did. He just revealed a glimpse of what he knew about her by the Spirit of God. And it broke her up. Lord of mercy. She said, come see a man which told me all things that, I, that ever I did. Is not this to Christ? Then they went out of the city and came unto him. And many of the Samaritans of that city believe on him. For the saying of the woman which testified, he told me all that I ever did. She met Jesus. She met the living Christ. I'm talking to some of you under the sound of my voice. There's a need in your life. Money can't satisfy it. You're the number one on that job. That ain't satisfying that thirst. Some of you on your third, fourth, some of you on your second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh marriage. 
That ain't satisfying it. But Jesus said, I am the bread of life. If a man eat of me, he'll never hunger again. I am the living water. If a man drink of me, he'll never thirst again. Your soul is craving. You tried everything and nothing has worked. It's time to surrender to Jesus. You have an appointment with destiny this morning. Many of you under the sound of my voice. The Holy Ghost is talking to you. This morning is your morning of deliverance. This morning is your morning of deliverance. You try to stuff everything to satisfy that hunger, that thirst that is within you. Only Jesus can satisfy that hunger and that thirst. That's why he said, bless are those that hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. Only Jesus can fill that void, that hunger, that need in your life. Having a man ain't going to satisfy that need. Having a woman ain't going to meet that need. Having all the money in the world is not going to meet that need. Having the highest position on the job. That need in your life is Jesus. Without any further hesitation, bow your head and pray with me. Say, Lord Jesus. I am a sinner in need of a savior. Lord, I'm asking you to forgive me of all of my sins. I'm asking you to wash me in your blood. I believe you are the son of God. I believe they crucified you and buried you in a borrowed tomb. But on the third day, God raised you from the dead. You are now seated at God's right hand. And soon and very soon, you are coming again. From this day, I surrender my life to you. I turn my back on the world, the flesh, and the devil to serve the true and living God and his Son, Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. Friend, if you prayed that prayer with me and meant it with all of your heart, let me and Pastor Amy be the first to say to you, welcome into the family of God. Welcome into the kingdom of God. Your sins are forgiven. Like the woman at the well, today marks the day of a new beginning in your life. Her sins were forgiven. She had an encounter with destiny. She had an appointment with destiny. That one encounter with Jesus turned her life around. He's setting you free this morning break every chain. He's breaking the chains of bondage that held you. He is setting you free this morning. He knows what he's doing. He's setting you free this morning. Only Jesus can satisfy the longing that's in your soul. It's the best decision you could ever make in your life. It's to surrender your life to him. The woman at the well said, Jesus, give me that water. He gave it to her. And she went and warned the whole town over to Jesus. Your sins have been forgiven. I want you to type below this video right now. I've just surrendered my life to Jesus. Your sins are forgiven type below this video right now. I've just surrendered my life to Jesus. He loves you. He has forgiven you. The past is over. Welcome to a new life in Christ. Praise be to God. Listen, remember we are still asking you to support phase two, which is purchasing the equipment for small children. Amen. That's a portable nursery equipment, portable pre-K equipment, and for elementary, where kids can come and learn about Jesus in our Sunday morning services as we launch May the 21st. I I'm telling you, we are so excited. 
we are thrilled that God opened the door for us. And I'm asking you, we only need 53 of you to give $1,000 and this phase two is over. I know some of you can do it. This is for the kingdom of God. This is for the gospel of the Lord Jesus. This is so we can fulfill the Great Commission and make disciples. To give in this offering, visit us online right now. SeanPinder.net forward slash give. If you have the ministry app on your phone, give through that ministry app. Select give and give them out. You can also give through the ministry PayPal account. That address is paypal.me forward slash Sean Pinder Ministries. You can also give through the ministry Zell account. The ministry Zell email address is info at seanpinder.net. You can also give through the ministry cash app account. The ministry cash app address is the dollar sign Sean Pinder Ministries. You can also text to give. All you have to do is text the letters SPM to the number 45888 and a link will automatically be sent to you. You can also mail your donations to the ministry. Just remember to make your checks and money orders out to Sean Pinder Ministries, P.O. Box 2726, McKinney, Texas 75070. Never forget me and my beautiful wife, Pastor Amy, we love you. We appreciate you, and we look forward to being with you again on tomorrow morning on another morning broadcast. God bless you. Take care. Bye-bye.